Well, welcome to All Classic Car and this collection of 110 photos featuring classic rovers and future classic rovers. And we begin with a 1972 Rover P5B Saloon. This was my own car for a while and a fantastic car it was too. That's followed by a car that I nearly bought. This is a pre-war Rover Speed 20. I tried to buy it, but uh, when I got back in touch with the owner, he'd already accepted someone else's offer, which was a shame. And here we have a Rover SD1 Van den Plas, the 3.5 litre uh, SD1 of the 1980s. That's followed by the first of several P6s that are going to feature in this collection of classic Rovers. This is a 2200 TC twin carburetor car. And a pre-war Rover P2 Tour, I believe. Pre or just post-war, possibly. They were built either side of World War II. The Rover 3.5 litre, the P5B Coupe. Low roof line, but still a four-door car. Sold alongside the saloon, of course. This is the 1967 prototype Rover stroke Alvis P6BS with a mid-mounted 3.5 litre V8 engine in the back. It didn't make it any further than the prototype, and here we've got the first of several P4s. This is a P4 Rover 80 from 1960. Another P6, this is a TC, a 2000 TC, F registration, so 1967 to 68. Nice early car with the uh, simple front end, chrome bumpers, etc. And the AP5 Saloon, the 3 litre saloon, the straight six engine car before they switched to the 3.5 litre V8. Side view of a 1947 Rover P2, two tone green and black, 12 horsepower car, standard saloon. Down to Gaydon and the British Motor Museum, we've got 6427WD, that's the 1961 Rover T4 gas turbine development car. Here's a standard P6, a 2.2, the twin carburetor car. Um, as the previous car showed, the idea was always to put the gas turbine engine into the P6, but that didn't come to anything. J registration car now, this is a R8 Rover 200. Um, collaboration with Honda, of course, back in the day, four-door car. And a pre-war Rover. Uh, this is a sports saloon, I think this was a 12 or a 14 horse car. The sports saloon had two windows per side and a lower roof line compared to the standard saloon. 536 KKO, that's a Rover P4, a Rover 105 with the 2.6 petrol engine, high compression. Very nice indeed. To more recent times and a Rover 800, this is the Series 1 car. A Series 2 version will come along a little bit later in this collection. And a rear three-quarter view of a brown 2200 TC with the spare wheel mounted on the boot. Not something you see too often nowadays, but back in the day you'd often see Rovers with the spare wheel mounted up there. Here we've got JOC 343. This is a post-war Rover 12 or a 14. Another sports saloon with the lower roof line. Rear three quarter view of a Rover SD1. This is a 2.6 litre car from 1978. Supplied new by Reeds of Cheadle, BL Garage. GUE383, that's a post war Rover P3 saloon. Again, a sports saloon. Four light bodywork, i.e., two windows per side. And head on view of a, is this tobacco brown, possibly Rover P6 TC, Elreg 1973. Another handsome Rover P5B here, this is the P5B Saloon of course, the 3.5 litre V8 engine tucked away under its bonnet. To the reserve collection of Gaydon, this is TM6124, this is a 1929 Light 6 Sportsman Saloon, fabric bodied, very unusual car indeed. And continuing with classic Rovers, we've got two photos of ARO425, this is a 1935 Rover 14 Speed Saloon or the P1 series, which ran from 1933 to 1938 and was then replaced by the P2. Back to Gaydon, and this is the last ever Rover Montego, signed by the people that built it. All 
also at Gaydon, this very early rover. This is an air-cooled Rover 8. One of several that will feature in this particular collection of classic and vintage rovers. The first of two prototype SD-1 estates that are featured in this particular collection of photographs. This is a P-Reg example from 1975. Another SD-1, this is an ex Andy Rouse racing car. An SD-1 Rover Vitesse. Somewhat older now, BV4373, that's a 12 horsepower Rover P1 saloon. Six light bodywork, so three windows per side. A Rover 216 Cabriolet, a much more recent times, this is from 1997 according to the screen. One for the junior viewers, a Rover pedal car. Presumably this was based on a Triang. Was that a factory produced job or did someone make that up? Another P5B Saloon here. Very handsome car indeed. This one from 1969. Dark green example. And this camper van is based on a Rover P5B Coupe. One off vehicle, very useful. Perfect for a weekend rally away somewhere. Another Rover 8, this time it's a Rover 8 air-cooled van. The only one of these I've ever seen. Do any others exist anywhere? Please let me know in the comments. A pair of P6s, an early one in the foreground and a later car in the background with a plastic grille as opposed to the anodized aluminium grille on the car in the foreground. If you're a fan of classic Rovers, please let me know in the comments. Here we've got a, the remains of a sad Rover 25 that was out to grass in the local scrapyard quite a few years ago now. Probably sent there due to a K-series engine head gasket failure. And here a P6 Estate, the three and a half litre car. This was a conversion done by FLM Panelcraft. And they did a number of P6s. Here's a review of the same car. And very few of them survive now. Continuing with these classic rovers, we've got BWM 960. This is a 1936 14 horsepower Streamline. A very handsome car it is too. The first of two examples that will feature in this particular collection. Then we've got the P5B Saloon that used to belong to Her Majesty the Queen. She obviously had excellent taste. I was quite taken with the green tinted wi uh, wing mirrors on this particular car. Somewhat less shiny um, is this H registration P6 3.5 litre. Probably quite an early P6 with a V8 engine in it. And to the NEC classic car shown BG2020. This is a speed saloon, a P1 Rover of the mid 1930s. To somewhat more recent times, possibly a future classic, a Rover 600. Definitely a classic. Here we've got another sports saloon. This is a P3, I believe. Head on view now of one of these Cyclops so called Rover P4s, NKL282. This is a Rover 75 from 1950. Cyclops, because of the extra headlamp in the middle, of course. That's followed by another P3 sports saloon, VFF353. Probably just post war in that case. And this is a standard saloon P3, uh, 526 GWE. You can see the extra windows and the higher roof line compared to the previous car. And there's an SD1 in the background. And here's, I'm assuming this is a one-off, this is a Rover 3 litre based hearse of all things. Down again at the NEC Classic Car Show just a couple of years ago. The Rover Metro. The Metro soldiered on for many years after its introduction in the early 1980s. This was the Rover badged version, then later there'd be the Rover 100, I think it was. To the restoration show with the NEC and a part dismantled Rover P6 showing the suspension layout of the front end on these cars. Like I say, these were designed originally with gas turbines in mind. And talking of gas turbine rovers, here's Jet One, one of their earliest, if not the earliest, development cars that Rover used throughout the 1950s to test and develop the gas turbine engine. This is actually the MG ZS, but this is based on the Rover 45. I didn't have a photo of a late Rover 45, so this one will have to do. These were built from 2001 to 2005. 
Back to more traditional Rovers now, the Rover 110, the P4 series. Rover 2000 TC here, an unusual one here on wire wheels with an extra uh, scoop on the bonnet. I wonder what that was about. Of course, the later classic minis were badged as Rovers, and here we've got a Rover Mini Cooper. Back to Gaydon and the British Motor Museum, and they've got this uh, KLJ 188, which is 1950 Rover 75 on display. There's an early Morris Minor MM alongside. And this is a P5B Coupe, somewhat dusty, parked up in the garage for many, many years. And to Silverstone, this was a preview day for the Silverstone Classic, and this is the Traco Olds P6 with a, I think it's 4.6 litre Oldsmobile V8 under its bonnet. Fantastic car. Slightly more standard looking is this uh, six light Rover P3 MUW75. And here's the second of the SD1 estates that features in this particular collection. This one's from 1976. This is down at the uh, Haynes Motor Museum. Review of a Rover 105 NDO 656. This was a prototype uh, put together by Radford as a proposal for a P6 Rover replacement in 1966. Only the one was built, so that came to nothing. There's a standard car alongside. Now, a front end view of 762X UK. This is a Rover 90. Still quite a few classic Rovers to go, and here's a modern classic if you like, an H registration, this is another Rover 400, this is the R8 series car I believe. Okay J155, this is another Rover P2 Tourer. It's the only P5B saloon that I've seen in brown, hence its inclusion here. This is a G-Reg car from 1968 to 1969. You'll note that the grille's different between the V8 and the earlier 3 litres. This was found in the Portuguese scrapyard, a very sad looking 2000 TC. Just look at the rust in the back of the roof. Clearly well beyond restoration. And this is the Rover BRM racing car. This competed at Le Mans in the hands of the likes of Graham Hill back in the day. An incredible car, I heard that one running a few years ago. Then we've got a P3 saloon, a standard saloon, with the three windows either side. Very handsome indeed. HRE 759. The Rover Metro Clubman. Back to Haynes, and we've got a Rover 8. Tour of the 1920s. And the P5B Coupe. And this is a Rover P4, black example this time. First of two photographs, I think, of the same racing SD1 tri uh, Rover Vitesse in the livery of Texaco and Bastos. This was at the Donington Historic Festival. And a rear view of the same TWR prepared car down at Shelsley Walsh in 2005. Head on view of a Rover 2000 TC F registration, so that'll be 1967 or thereabouts. Very smart car in yellow. This SNX36, this was the 1955 Road Rover Series 1 prototype. Um, even back in the 1950s, Land Rover were thinking of producing a more road based version of their four wheel drive. Eventually became the Range Rover. Here we've got another six light P3 Saloon, EOK303. Another race prepared Vitesse here. LXD415, this is another Cyclops looking Rover P4. 
This particular example dates to 1950. It's the Rover 75. That's followed by a very brown Rover 2000, complete with light brown uh, vinyl roof and Webasto full-length opening sunroof. 1972 car. The post-war Rover P3 here. It could be a 12 or a 14 horse car. YYJ485. MXP22, that's a 1947 Rover 12 Tora. On the P6, this is a 3.5 litre car, uh, presumably automatic, most of them were. But the 3500S signified a manual gearbox version. And we have one here, one of the later Series 2 cars from 1974, 3500S, so manual gearbox. DKM345, this is another Rover P1 series saloon of the mid-1930s. In the rear view now of a 3.5 litre P5B saloon, this one in white, G-Reg, so 1968. BYP351, this is a second Speed 14 Streamline Coupe to feature in this collection of classic and vintage Rovers. PVG10, this is a Rover 100, uh, obviously the P4 series. You can see the rear hinged back doors clearly in this particular photograph. Rear three quarter view of another 3.5 litre P6. And this arch rival in the distance there, Triv 2000 or 2500. The P3, this is a Tora. We've had a black, slightly earlier Tora on spoked wheels already, and this is the later one on the solid disc wheels. 2200 TC on period alloys. VAC 905, this is another one of the gas turbine cars. This is a Rover T3 from 1956. Rover put huge energies in the 1950s into the development of the gas turbine cars. And here we got Joe 707, another P3 saloon. This is a sports saloon. Rover 2000, J Reg 1973. And a slightly damp P5B coupe, L Reg. Uh, like I say, the grills differed on the V8s and the straight six cars. The straight sixes had a much bigger, colourful badge on the centre of the radiator grill. Here we've got CSJ411, this is a Rover 90. Review of a Welsh registered V8 P6, EY being North Wales. That was at a show over in North Wales in 2006. As was this rover, another P2 or P3 Tora FG132. Very smart P5B saloon next, the Morris Minor alongside, and the Sunbeam Talbot in the background. J Reg, so that would be what, 1970 or thereabouts. In the rear view of the Rover 90, the Welsh registered Rover 90, you can see how much the rear end tapers down compared to the later P4s. This isn't really a video for Land Rovers, but I couldn't go through without mentioning them at least once, and this is a Series 1 Land Rover, short wheelbase. I'll probably do a separate video about Land Rover in the future. And to a Welsh Motor Museum, and we've got a P5B in the foreground and a P6 V8 alongside it. The P6 is from 1974. Rear three-quarter view now of another P3 saloon. Very handsome quality car, great looking machine. Almost there, another P4 here. This is a Rover 100, two-tone. Uh, again, you can see the uh, rear hinge back doors. Later cars had steel doors. The earlier cars had aluminium doors. And an underbonnet view of another Rover 20, uh, Rover 8 rather, the air-cooled Rover 8. Uh, this was a work in progress car seen at a classic car show a few years back. The Rover P6 taking part in the historic rally.
And to round out this collection of classic and post-classic rovers, we've got the sad remains of a Series 2 or Mark II Rover 800, uh, supporting a Fiesta in similarly poor condition. And that was the collection of classic rovers and post-classic rovers for this particular video. Thanks very much for watching, I hope that was of interest, and please check out some of the other classic car videos now on the channel, and uh, more uploads very soon. Thanks for watching, bye for now.